Please stand for the pledge. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Carlsbad. Starting off today's show, we have Keely live in the studio with Green Club. Luke, what else do we have? We're also going to have Colton on DeGero and Leo on the Magic Window. Sounds like a great show. I'm Isabella Linners. And I'm Luke Whitehead. And CHS TV starts right now. Welcome back. Starting off, we have a story here about a student at CHS who has an interesting hobby. Race and Zuzu bring us this piece. So I bought it off of this guy. When I pulled up to his house, it basically looked like someone who lived in like a swamp and it was just covered in dirt and like random bolts and stuff going into it and it was just like completely destroyed and dirty, and so we gave it the name Stinky Pete. So that was the name we bought it off of, and it also smelled like really bad. Although Stinky Pete had a rough past, Paul looked yeah, past right. it and decided to fix it up anyway. It just like wasn't up to standard. Pretty much everything on it needed to be replaced, like wheels, tires, brakes, like the steering components, and even the engine itself. Despite all of Paul's hard work, accidents still happen. <laughs> Yeah, so the throttle got stuck one time and it ended up crashing with my friend Jeff inside of it and ended up breaking his leg. Following the incident, I just rebuilt it. Now with a few modifications, Stinky Pete is back better than ever and after Stinky Pete gets an update, it's Paul's turn to have some fun. Like, I love building it and I love like making it run as good as possible, but also like when it is running good as possible, driving it. Paul and Stinky Pete have been through a lot together, but their journey is far from over. Reporting for CHS TV, this has been Race and Zuzu Gruskin reporting. Thank you, and Zuzu and Race, for that piece. Women's water polo triads will be taking place at the Monroe Street Pool on Monday, November 7th. The times are to be determined. The fundraiser for Best Buddies is on Wednesday, November 2nd from 4 to 8 p.m. at Chipotle on Palomar Airport Road. Order online with the code GAWYXPM or show the flyer that can be found on the Carlsbad Best Buddies Instagram account. For our first break in the announcements, we have Keely McRoy live with some members of Green Club. Keely? What is up, Carlsbad? I'm here live on the Carlsbad Farms with Green Club to talk a little bit about the shirts that they're going to be selling. What are the details on this shirt? So the shirts are $10 a piece. We're selling them at our meeting today, room 2003, and all proceeds are going towards future events and all other aspects of the club. That sounds like a really great cause that you guys should go and support. When and where are these meetings? The meetings are every other Tuesday in Mr. Meilenberg's room, room 2003. That is awesome. McKenna, any shout outs? Shout out birthday girl, Milan DeBacco. That is awesome. Carlsbad, make sure you go support in room 2003. Thank you, Keely. Are you interested in joining Academic League this year? The first meeting of the year will be held on Thursday, November 10th during lunch in room 7108. All are welcome, so make sure to stop by. The annual laptop scholarship contest is taking place now. Please see the recent news feed on the CHS website for de details. Deadline is November 25th. For our next break in the announcement, we have Rowan Boyd live with a few members from Kindness Club. Rowan? Good morning, Carlsbad. I'm here with Kindness Club, and we're going to ask them some questions. So first of all, could you tell me, you guys just had a donation drive. Could you tell me more about that? 
Yes, we had a donation drive with the organization Humanity Showers. Basically, we donated lots of clothing to people in need, and Humanity Showers also provides mobile showers for people who need them. And within the next few weeks, stay tuned for updates on as we deliver those, sorry, um, uh, clothing. Okay, cool. And you guys have some events coming up, so could you tell me about that? Yes. So at our meetings, we are going to be making cards for Thanksgiving for the kids at Tri-City. And we're also going to be making cards during Christmas for the Senior Center. And we're going to be going to different places to serve food and other things like that. So follow us on Instagram at Kindness Club Carlsbad for more updates on all of that. All right, thank you. And then you guys meet today at lunch, so could you tell me where and when? Yes, we are meeting today at lunch and every other Tuesday in room 7107. All right, sweet. Come out and support Carlsbad, and I'm going to send it back to the anchors. Lancers, come support Dalek Cultura at the Oceanside Chipotle tonight. Please say Dalek Cultura with your order so that 30% of your purchase goes back to the club. Reward yourself with a burrito and enjoy the first day of Dia de los Muertos. Miracosa student ambassadors are now available with CHS students for one-on-one -on -one meetings. They help with registration and answer admission and financial questions. See the Google form on the counseling website. Now we have Nate live with water polo in the studio. Nate, what's up? Good morning, Carlsbad. I'm standing here live with water polo to talk about their season so far. So Gabe, how's your season been going? Um, it's been really good and we've had some ups and downs, but we're really excited. Um, we're heading to CIF or in open division. Awesome, and I understand you guys have a big game tomorrow, so when and where is this big game? It's tomorrow at La Jolla High at 4 o'clock. Awesome, and uh, what are you guys doing to prepare? Uh, you know, we're just we're playing Bishop, so we're making sure to show up and work hard at practice and mentally prepare for a game tomorrow. And also, uh, what does this game mean to you? Uh, it means a lot. We're the eighth seed playing the first seed, so we're looking to upset them. Awesome, you heard it here first, Carlsbad. Make sure to come out and show out tomorrow. Thanks, Nate. National Honor Society applications are being accepted from new and returning members through November 4th. NHC is a nationwide organization with the purpose of recognizing and encouraging qualities of scholarship, leadership, service, and character. Sophomores, juniors, and seniors may apply each October only, so don't miss this opportunity. Financial Aid Night is taking place at the CAC tonight from 6 to 7 p.m. All class of 2023 students and parents are welcome. The Carlsbad City Library is offering free online homework help on their webpage under e-resources. Apply for a library card online to access this and many other databases. Next up, we have Colton live via DeGero in the financial office to talk about school shirts. Colton, what do you have for us? What's up, Carlsbad? I'm here in front of the student store to talk about these awesome shirts that you can get for the upcoming home game. As you may know, we do in fact have a home game next Thursday, November 10th and the theme is Purple Rain. It is the first round of the Open Division playoff, so make sure to show up and show out Lancers. You can get one of these awesome shirts for $15 at the student store before school, at brunch, and at lunch, so make sure to buy one and show your school spirit. Thanks, Colton. For our final break in the announcements, we have Leo on the Magic Window to talk about the recent events of the World Series. Leo? What's going on, Carlsbad? I'm Leo Nicholson, and I'm gonna give you guys an update on the World Series. As you guys know, the Padres were defeated by the Phillies, and the Phillies are now playing the Astros in the World Series. Last night, Game 3 was supposed to happen, but there was a rain delay, which postponed the game till tonight at 5. The series is currently tied at 1-1, one to -one, with first of four wins receiving the trophy. Some Astros superstars are Jordan Alvarez and Jeremy Pena, great players, and they're leading the Astros to great victories. On the Philly side of things, we have JT Real Motu, a great player, great catcher. He can do everything on the field, and he's great at making plays. Another star for the Phillies is Bryce Harper. Now, he is a hothead, but he's got a chip on his shoulder, and he's got something to prove for these Phillies, and he's helping them lead them to a win. Thank you, Carlsbad. Make sure you tune in tonight at 5 o'clock. Anchors, back to you. Thank you, Leah, for those updates. Sadly, it's the end of our show. Make it a good one. Bye. Hi. I'm Jacob Clark. Occasionally on CHS TV, we'll broadcast live from our Lightcraft studio. This technology is officially called virtual production, and it's pretty amazing. We'll explain how virtual production is quickly changing the way movies and television shows are produced. Stay tuned for more Lightcraft segments, and of course, every day we'll bring you magic window reports, live coverage via satellite, and of course, live guest conversation in our studio. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Have a great day, and thanks for watching.